Hello. Now, being a 3D artist is sometimes about spending months on a single project, lovingly sculpting every wrinkle in an old man's face, wrinkle by wrinkle, as you grow your own. Now, other times it's about from getting A to B as quickly as possible. And in this video, I'm going to show you one of those techniques that we can use. Now, plasticity, what I'm using now is one of the best hard surface modeling apps out there for artists, if not the best. I think that the hard surface workflow is a lot better than other softwares. And in this video, I'm going to show you a cool new technique in this latest version of uh, plasticity to get from A to B as quickly as possible. So let's crack into it. And we're actually going to start by using Photoshop. All right, so I've got this set up um, as a mandala, okay, in the paint sphere. It's just a 2048 by 2048. I've got my brush setting set to smoothing like up to like 95% so I can get some nice smooth lines. And what we can do is we can just start building a shape. It could be anything, a sci-fi shape or something a little bit more crazy. All right. So we'll go back. Let's starting here. We can bring this curve nice and smoothly around. And we're getting like a nice flower petal here. Okay. And we could maybe add some more jarring effects around there. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay. So this is just something for uh, the purpose of um, showing you. So what we want to do, you want to export that. Okay. Just going to quickly export as a quick PNG. I've already done a couple of uh, trials, so we'll go, uh, we'll just call this flower. I don't even think I typed that properly. And then I'm going to go to this app here called Inkscape. Okay. Now Inkscape is a free and open source um, uh, software, so you can download it for free. Okay. I'm just going to actually uh, go to new document, not open. Okay, and we're just going to drag our flower into here. Okay, and I painted it in blue for a reason. Now you can right click on this and you can go to Trace Pick Match, Ship Alt B. Okay, and I don't really know what these do, but I like to turn this optimize and smooth corners all the way up and threshold. I think that does a nice job. And then we can just drag the other one out of the way and then we can export this as an SVG and I'll give it a proper name this time we'll call it flower SVG okay export that now back in plasticity we can just uh, drag our uh, flower SVG into plasticity and it's going to show up somewhere like that okay we can select the whole thing GG to the center okay it's not quite centered but that's okay for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not going to bother with that and now if we come into front mode we can see that and the origin point seems to be there but that's okay we'll just try and just drag that down into the center okay so now that we've got this you see how easy that was? Okay. But these are not quite linked up. Okay, so we can maybe just start adding faces one by one. And we don't only need to do half of this, really. And we'll do that one as well. Okay. And then we'll select these ones. We'll mirror it across. We'll hide all of our curves and look at that. We've just got this lovely shape to do with what we would like. So um, obviously you may need to um, thicken a sheet. All right. And then you can get rid of our original sheet or whatever. So we can hide those. And then you might want to start, you know, your filleting and whatnot. 
So this is just a really cool technique. It's just another way to make curves. And you see how I did that? Making this shape, I think we're not even five minutes into this video and that's done. And there's a lot of things that you could do with this. You could um, deform it. You could um, use it as a Boolean um, on a, another object. So for example, a cylinder. And there you go, you're developing shapes really nice and easily. So have fun with that and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Tschüss!